economists make a number of distinctions here. A to I greater than zero. We say I is normal. A to I less than zero. I is what? We call it inferior. A to I less than one. I is a necessity. A to I bigger than one. I is a luxury. What is the con what is the what is kind of the average value of A to I? What's the average value? And tell me in what sense it's an average. What should be like what is kind of like the reference value for A to I? Is it zero? One. One, right, exactly. Why is it one? Okay, think about it as your income goes up 10%. You buy 10% more. You, gotta, you can't buy 9% more of everything. You'd have money left over. You can't buy 11% more of everything. You wouldn't have enough money. If you're, so kind of you have to have some at least 10 and some less than or equal to 10. It can all be 10. You could increase everything 10%, which give you income elasticity of 1 for everything. You could increase some 5 and some 15 and have them average out to give you the 10%. Couldn't have them all be negative, whatever, right? So 1 is kind of it. And, and you can prove for yourself that the sum from i equals 1 to n of the si a to i, where this is the share of good i in, in expenditure. So this expenditure share of good i this got to be equal to 1 to be able to prove that pretty straightforward. Go home and prove that. Any idea how you're going to prove that? Just come straight off the budget constraint. Start with the budget constraint. Then you should be able to just pop that right out. If you can't, I'll do it next time. But you should try to do it yourself. On the budget constraint, I can tell you that's the case. And this says a weighted average of the income elasticities has to be 1, which is kind of what we just said. On average, they got to work out to be 1. Some can be bigger than 1, some can be less than 1. On average, they're 1. All right. 